Fishing is big business around an urban center like Kansas City, and new fisheries biologist Andy Jansen is looking forward to making fishing all that it can be near the metro area. From a rural background, Jansen never imagined basing out of a large population center, but he's quickly realizing the quality and opportunities of area lakes and streams. Well, uh, from Iowa, I came down here uh, in March from South Dakota, I'm going to school. And uh, starting down here taking care of Hillsdale Reservoir and Middle Creek State Fishing Lake and a lot of the Community Fisheries Assistance Program uh, properties here in the Kansas City District area. Uh, looking forward to being down here and there's just being down here for these few months. I've noticed there's quite a few places to fish. Hope to get out there one of these days and uh, try it myself. But uh, the Kansas City area has a lot of water, a lot of, a lot of fishing opportunity, and uh, excited to be here. We have a uh, research project going on at Hillsdale Reservoir on largemouth bass. So this morning I was down there doing some sanding, looking for the age zero bass and looking at their size structure. Uh, while we were down there, you know, it's quite a few shad out there, so there's quite, quite a bit of forage base for the predators. Uh, we've also been working on uh, getting ready for our fall sampling, which will start in October. We'll go through our area lakes and, and do some fall netting and check up on some of these fish populations in the area. And also kind of getting ready for going to the state fair in, in September to do some uh, public relations work out there. And by, as part of Kansas and Parks, we, we've, we've tried to keep uh, our fishing reports updated on a weekly basis. Uh, I've tried to take pride in myself in, in doing that and keeping that up to date as best as I can. Uh, if I hear some reports uh, off the water, and, or if I'm down there myself, or talking to people, try to keep those reports updated so we let people know what the best opportunity for what gear to use, what bait to use, or where to go. Uh, so they have an opportunity to catch a fish in this area. I also work uh, with our uh, fishing data a little bit later here with the fall netting. Hope to use some of that data to be able to make an accurate fishing forecast uh, again for providing opportunity for our anglers. Really when I got down here and, and saw all the waters available to, to me and to the other anglers and uh, just there's, there's plenty of places to fish. If one place isn't turning out so well you can easily jump down the road and go to another place and you know, just looking forward to taking a unique experience like this, working in an urban area and, and taking advantage of it. Watch for biologists like Andy Jansen when you're visiting Kansas waters. They're always out there helping ensure you've got the best fishing possible. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.